another video. <laughs> I've worn this shirt in so many videos now, I think I should retire it. I also painted my nails white again, and if you guys watched me last summer, I lived in white nail polish, and I'm bringing it back. It is almost summertime, and I'm so excited about it, but it means that there's going to be more colors, and floral patterns, and all that fun stuff, so I thought it would be about time to brighten up and freshen up my makeup look. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And today is also a drugstore tutorial, which means that everything I use here today can be found in a drugstore, which is pretty awesome. Aside from my blush, which is pretty inexpensive, but you have to buy it online, or if you live in Asia, you can buy it there, but it is pretty inexpensive. If you don't have that product, just switch it out for something else. And that goes for everything I use in this video. If you don't have the exact same product, you can always substitute it for something you already own. And before I get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that this is actually a collab with my friend Abby. So at the end of the video, don't forget to go check out her video because I'm sure it's going to be awesome. And without further ado, let's get into the makeup tutorial, shall we? <laughs> I'm starting out by using this foundation, and this is my favorite drugstore foundation at the moment. It's the 3-in-1 by CoverGirl, and I'm applying it using a Real Techniques brush. These brushes are awesome. You can buy them at Walmart, and they are some of the best quality I've ever used. Next, I'm using this concealer by Essence, and I'm pretty sure I bought this for about $2. It's a really great everyday concealer because it has a really light wear application. It's not completely high coverage, but it does the job. Because the CoverGirl foundation that I used is so high coverage, I really like to use a translucent setting powder. And my favorite is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. For bronzer, I'm going to use this one by NYC, and it's awesome because it's completely matte, and I'm just going to use this to contour my face. brows by combining two brown shades to create the perfect shade for my eyebrows and this is the L'Oreal Cup of Joe palette as you can see I get a lot of use out of this one <laughs> NYC Jumbo Eye Pencil is a new color for me and I absolutely love it. I think it's just the perfect color for summer. It's so bright and shimmery, but these things do tend to crease a little bit. So I would apply it to your eye and then blend it out with your finger a little bit and this will ensure that your eyeshadow won't crease throughout the day. And I always like to highlight the inner corner of my eye, so I'm using a white shimmery shadow to do that. And here I go with the winged liner again. So I'm just going to line my eyes with this liquid eyeliner. And this is an awesome one by L'Oreal. My mascara is the Clump Crusher Extensions. And this one's awesome because, well, it doesn't give you any clumps but it also makes your eyelashes super, super long. I'm using this peachy color blush by Can Make for my cheeks, but you can use whatever you'd like. I wanted to apply a matte lip color, but my lips were a little dry, so I just combined one teaspoon of honey and one teaspoon of sugar to make a homemade exfoliant, and it worked pretty well. Then I just applied my EOS lip balm, and finally my lip color, which is this awesome bright matte pink, and I think this is perfect for the summertime. And the blue undertones in it will actually help make your teeth look a little bit whiter. And you can also use this little trick I'm doing here to make sure that none of your lip color gets on your teeth. No one wants that. <laughs> I'm 
going back to the white colors this summer and as you can probably see I'm going to need a new bottle soon. Mine is almost out. And that is all! Pretty simple. I'm actually loving this lip color. It is awesome. I can't wait to just wear this every day. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, don't forget to check out Abby's channel. It will be linked in the description bar down below. I hope you're having a lovely week and I will see you in my next video. Bye! I get so excited when I talk about Disney princesses. It's a little ridiculous considering I'm 23. <laughs>